Bye. This is 7 News Queensland with Kendall Gilding. Good afternoon. Our top stories on 7 this Tuesday. A fighting fund to save our state's economy. Fears coronavirus will claim thousands of Queensland businesses. Shopping surge. Did the supermarkets keep their promise to the elderly? Qantas in crisis mode. The airline makes major cuts. And market unpredictability. How the ASX fought back from the worst loss in 33 years. First at four, the nation is preparing for a hit to the economy and a level of job losses not seen in a generation. More than 400 Australians now have coronavirus, with numbers steadily growing and the impact to our business community will be brutal. Joel Dry leads our coverage. With the grip of coronavirus tightening on Australia, it's not just the healthcare system or individuals that are likely to be impacted but also business with a major dent to the economy forecast. The National Retailers Association are predicting that anywhere up to 100,000 businesses could close as a result of a downturn in trade and business. We need to make sure that our economy continues to move. So we need people to continue to spend money. And I think that it is a very fine line. You know, we need to support our business owners, but we also need our employees to be paid um, and to continue to spend money. To stem the bleeding, the state government that has already announced a break to payroll tax has today further announced a fund of $500 million to be put towards interest-free loans for businesses so they can keep their doors open, keep trade happening through this very difficult period. No other time like now do we need to make sure that people have employment and can come back to that employment. But the focus is very much on reducing the number of cases. Today in Queensland it is at 78 with more than 1,000 tests being conducted every day. Today the state government and council announced that every bus and train would be disinfected to reduce the spread. And in a drastic measure, there are reports that the overflow of patients from hospitals may well be treated at specialised clinics set up at places like the RNA showgrounds and the Brisbane Convention Centre. Extraordinary measures in extraordinary times. Well, there's been historic scenes in state parliament in response to the virus. Marlena Watt joins us live. Marlena, what changes were made? Kendall, it has been unusually quiet. Normally on a sitting day, Parliament House is buzzing, but a lot of MPs and their staff were told to steer clear. There were more empty seats than politicians to allow for social distancing. There were also bottles of water handed out instead of glasses and jugs. The Premier told Parliament in a state that's endured cyclones, floods, bushfires and drought, this could well be the toughest test in our lifetime. Anastasia Palaget says she is is not afraid and the government is listening to the best medical advice. Getting extra ventilators, making sure we're freeing up beds, making sure we've got the masks that we need, Mr Speaker. And now all of Australia is in this together. Yeah. We are in the fight of our lives. The fight... And Kendall, tonight the Premier will be involved in talks with National Cabinet focusing on ways to protect nursing home residents and remote Indigenous communities. The government warning that any outbreaks there could be catastrophic. Marlena Wop, thank you. Well, the first elderly and disabled only shopping hour has been met with mixed reviews. Thousands turned out to supermarkets across Queensland this morning, but many still missed out. Mac Lyon reports. Today marked the first morning of the disabled and elderly shopping hour. Hundreds lined up early to make the most of the dedicated window as supermarkets try to manage the impacts of panic buying on vulnerable members of society. Woolworths at Sherwood opened its stores from 7am with shoppers asked to present their concession cards before being allowed inside. Most left with their essential items and a smile. Very happy we finally got some. It's struggle street to get some. But at other stores across Queensland and the country, some were still left empty-handed. Five past seven. Open at seven o'clock and there's no toilet paper. Bloody joke. Any luck? No, mate. It's back to the old newspaper again, right? That's why Wynnum West local Lisa Wallace wants to help. She started a Facebook page asking for people to donate basic supplies to the elderly. I thought I've got to do something to help the elderly out there because 
nobody else seems to be helping them. They'll all be divided up into care packages and passed on to Meals on Wheels so they can be hand delivered with their usual prepared meals to those who need them most. I can't get it and I'm 50. So if I'm struggling to get the basic necessities, how is an 80 year old who doesn't have transport or family doing it? Woolworths has also committed to helping out Meals on Wheels by donating one pack of toilet paper to every one of its clients across the state. A Griffith University law lecturer has tested positive to COVID-19 after teaching a prison law class two weeks ago. Meanwhile, the majority of St Peter's students have been told not to come to school for two days. Georgie Chumley has more. More than a thousand St Peter's Lutheran College students have been asked to stay home until Thursday because of two coronavirus cases. A statement went out to students and parents last night. I write to advise you that an adult member in two of our families who have children in the college have tested positive to COVID-19. Late last week, they separately returned from overseas travel. Year 11 and Year 12 classes are continuing, but the campus is largely empty. Today, staff use the opportunity to finalise and prepare for extended closures and test at-home learning platforms. In some schools, for example, because of lack of access to internet or computers, uh, that won't be possible. Uh, Paper-based learning is still possible. The teachers union says thousands of students are staying home from school. The Education Department told 7 News it couldn't comment on attendance figures because they're not updated until the end of term. The parents today dropping off their kids said they're considering pulling them out early. I am in two minds about it and I am concerned. Always uh, instructed my kids don't let anyone touch your stuff, don't go too near to your classmates or anything like that. I'm just taking it day by day so I'll make a personal decision probably depending on what's been happening. We'll have the full story tonight on 7 News at 6. After a horror start to the week, the ASX gave investors some unexpected optimism today. Network Finance Editor Gemma Acton joins me. Gemma, the market seems to be fluctuating wildly day to day. Is this just something Australians will need to get used to? Well, Kendall, so it seems. Just to give you some context, yesterday we had the biggest fall for Australian shares since 1987, and today we've seen the biggest one-day gain in the last 10 years. Those sort of swings are not normal. What we're seeing is investors just grappling with so much information being thrown at them every day. They're having to balance the health news in so far as deaths around the world, new cases around the world, and the economic impact, more and more businesses coming out with statements explaining how it's affecting them, with more more and more proactive responses from governments, from central banks around the world and of course from medical authorities. That's a lot of information for the market to digest and that's why you're seeing a lot of pushing and pulling. You're also seeing people scouting around for bargains uh, against people who are still panic selling. So a lot going on here and we don't expect the rough ride to be over just yet. We keep describing it as a roller coaster, and that is proving true but it's great to have a positive day Gemma. Thanks so much for joining us. Finance Minister Matthias Cormann says the government is now weighing up extraordinary economic rescue plans it would never have considered in the past. Tim Lester has the latest from Canberra. The Prime Minister arrived here this morning with the sense of an economic war room developing around his office in Canberra. The coronavirus picture has changed starkly in the five days since he announced that $17.6 billion of measures so much so, key economic ministers are now planning to bolt profound new measures to the plan before it reaches Parliament next week. Businesses will close, people will lose their jobs. We are looking at some pretty um, significant options that we would never have uh, considered uh, in the past. There might be opportunities uh, to, uh, I guess, uh, job swap uh, from areas that are uh, badly uh, impacted into areas where there is actually significant demand as we speak right now. This as the government further promotes Australians visiting the doctor by phone or computer. This afternoon, the health minister has promised a vastly expanding array of specialist visits will be added to the claim list for those who want to Skype or FaceTime the doctor. The new National Cabinet meets tonight. It may well put a limit on the size of indoor gatherings. It may also settle the question of whether all older Australians above a certain age should self-isolate. We have to protect them from the disease, 
but we don't want to remove them from uh, the most human of contact. Already in isolation, the coronavirus positive Home Affairs Minister Peter Dutton. He's tweeted this picture. Time away from Federal Cabinet seems to be agreeing with him. The latest quarantine restrictions here and overseas have dealt a further blow to the airline industry, with Qantas announcing more savage cutbacks. Chris Ma explains how it will impact staff and travellers. Well, the emptying of airport terminals of passengers by concerns about coronavirus has forced Qantas to cut deeper into services reductions that will take effect until at least the end of May. Now, the Qantas group has cut 90% of international flights in response to the collapse of world travel, fuelled by concerns of the coronavirus. It has upgraded its cuts to domestic flights from the 5% announced last week to now 60% of domestic aircraft journeys. These cuts are across both Qantas and Jetstar, amounting to 150 aircraft grounded. Exactly what flights are affected will be spelt out in coming days. Passengers who wish to cancel are being advised to register for credit vouchers. Transport workers' unions have written to the Prime Minister today appealing for government support to protect jobs in the airline industry. Yes, they will be asked to take uh, 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 unused leave. Uh, unpaid leave will be also on the table. Qantas says its airline freight business will not be affected by the cuts. In fact, it plans to use some passenger aircraft for freight journeys. We'll leave the coronavirus for now and check the weather. And Tony, still pretty windy on the coast today. Good afternoon, Kendall. Yes, those winds have eased back since yesterday, but definitely not a calm day on our beaches. Now, here are the strongest wind gusts so far today. Cape Morton has just jumped into first place, recently recording a wind gust of 82 k's an hour a short time ago. Double Island Point reached 80 k's an hour and 74 for the Gold Coast Seaway. On top of that, a hazardous surf warning remains current for all exposed beaches. Wave height still well over three metres at the offshore Wave Rider buoys. To go with the winds, it's been another cool day and night. Canungra dropped to just 12 degrees overnight. The warmer spots reached 27, but it did feel cooler if you were out in those winds. Kendall, I'll be back soon with tomorrow's forecast. Thanks, Tony. The fight to slow the spread of an invisible enemy. The extreme measures in place to stop the US becoming the next coronavirus hotbed. France at war, the latest European country forced into lockdown. And why the pandemic shouldn't stop you giving blood. Don't pay a cent until you watch this. The hidden savings in every car rego bill. Where to find them? Tonight on 7 News. He stole his brother's wife. I wanted to tell Ben that we slept together. Now he's back for one more thing. It's all becoming clear now why you're here. Honey, if he finds out about us... Then we better make sure he doesn't. Why do you feel like you have to blackmail me? That's not how this is going to go. Home and Away, weeknights at 7 on 7. For tough cleaning jobs, try CLR. CLR easily dissolves built-up calcium, limescale and rust. Soak your shower head in CLR to get it running like new. For crystal clear shower screens, apply, wait two minutes, then wipe stains away. CLR is a safer choice that cleans kettles, dishwashers and washing machines. It's great for tough outside cleaning jobs like outdoor taps, bricks, PVC drain pipes, pool fences, driveways and barbecues. There's clean and then there's CLR clean, guaranteed. It's Gold Lotto's special event, Million Yes yeah Saturday. Yeah! Creating up to 10 millionaires next Saturday. Wouldn't it be nice? RACQ Bank's Mortgage Saver Home Loan has a special low variable rate of 2.87% with no establishment or ongoing fees. So get outstanding value from an award-winning home lender. There's more for members with RACQ Bank. Has your life been turned upside down by a work accident? Talk to Australia's number one law firm. Morris Blackburn Lawyers will maximise your claim so you can get on with your life again. Call us now. It costs nothing to know where you stand. What does being the number one tennis player in the world taste like? Well, I don't know. It's kind of a little bit something like it would be. Yeah, that's it. Vegemite. Tastes like Australia. 
Roll on in to Franklin's New Helens Vale showroom and discover a fantastic range of indoor blinds, outdoor blinds, shutters and crim safe security screens. It's all at the New Helens Vale showroom at Homeworld. Frankly, only Franklin will do. RACQ is owned by members to benefit members. It's been our way for over a hundred years. Helping Queenslanders wherever we can. And now, with RACQ Bank, we've become Queensland's fastest growing bank because we put you before profits. With RACQ Bank, there's more for you, more for Queenslanders and more for members. Our faces can be strong, but also really sensitive. With vitamin B3 and SPF 30, revitalise and protect with QV Face Moisturising Day Cream, Australia's number one facial moisturiser for sensitive skin. Here it comes. Got it! All the chips! <laughs> Oslotto's giant $15 million jackpot is just around the corner. Will your numbers bring you a truckload of cash this Tuesday? As the coronavirus outbreak continues, it's important to stay well informed. A national plan has been activated to manage the virus and support our community. As more is learned about the virus and the way it spreads, the plan will be adapted and we will let you know about the latest advice. For up-to-date information, visit health.gov.au. Together, we can help stop the spread and stay healthy. Authorised by the Australian Government, Canberra. San Francisco is the latest major city to be forced into lockdown. As US Bureau Chief Ashley Mullaney reports, the escalating crisis has brought a change in the messaging from President Trump. Good afternoon. We have seen a president far more direct and frank today, speaking about the threat of the coronavirus, saying this health crisis could last until July or August. Donald Trump is calling it an invisible enemy, saying America has 15 days to slow the spread of the virus, issuing White House guidelines today, urging all Americans to avoid groups of more than 10 people. My administration is recommending that all Americans, including the young and healthy, work to engage in schooling from home when possible, avoid gathering in groups of more than 10 people, avoid discretionary travel, and avoid eating and drinking at bars, restaurants, and public food courts. More than 32 million students are already home from school. Major US cities like New York and Los Angeles shutting down bars, clubs, uh, restaurants, uh, theatres and gyms. Uh, perhaps the strictest measures, though, coming out of San Francisco today, where residents there have been ordered to stay inside except for essential outings, such as visits to doctors or grocery stores. Now, Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has also spoken today, announcing that he will be closing his country's border to foreign nationals, urging residents to return home as soon as they can. This certainly feels like a turning point, a critical crossroad uh, for North America, with experts warning at this rate we are heading in the same direction as Italy. European countries are closing their borders, with the French president declaring his nation is at war against the COVID-19 virus. Nations are now desperate in their attempts to control the outbreak. Sarah Greenalt reports. Well, in a televised address to his nation, French President Emmanuel Macron has told his people, quote, we are at war, announcing a full lockdown for the next 15 days following the lead of Italy and Spain. He's also announced that the government will be suspending all rent, taxes and household bills. Here in Switzerland, all non-essential shops and services are now closed. The army is on standby, the biggest mobilisation since World War II. Here in Geneva, where we are, it's home to so many headquarters of various organisations, uh, the UN, the World Trade Organisation and the World Health Organisation. They have now said that this pandemic is the defining health crisis of our lifetime, saying governments around the world need to be testing and confirming coronavirus cases. Once they find them, they need to isolate them. We cannot stop this pandemic if we don't know who is infected. We have a simple message for all countries. Test, test, 
test. In the UK, Prime Minister Boris Johnson has urged against non-essential contact, telling people they shouldn't be going to pubs, clubs, theatres and cinemas, but stopping short of actually ordering those businesses to close. And in Italy, which remains the hardest hit European nation, another 349 people have died in the past 24 hours alone, taking the death toll well over 2,000. The Red Cross Blood Service has put out a special call for extra for an extra 14,000 blood donors. The coronavirus outbreak has seen about 800 donors cancel bookings every day. With the upcoming uh, flu and cold season and potentially the impact of the coronavirus, we're concerned that that may put further pressure on the blood supplies. Lifeblood says the extra donors are needed, particularly in the lead up to Easter. An exciting breakthrough in the race to create a vaccine for the virus sweeping the world. What Australian researchers have discovered. Could robots be a solution during coronavirus isolation? And Tom Hanks released from a Gold Coast hospital after his diagnosis. On 7 News, Queensland's half a billion dollar pandemic rescue plan. Airlines slash international flights. Crucial information for the elderly as seniors shopping begins. Schools moving to online learning. Plus the lessons for parents from the North Lakes Kmart kidnapping. Kay McGrath's special report. 7 News at 6. Coronavirus money advice. From super to selling a house. The vital tips to keep your money safe. On Sunrise, tomorrow. Nivea Q10 Power, Australia's number one anti-age day cream, contains natural Q10, identical to the one made by your skin, to visibly reduce wrinkles. Nivea Q10 Power, 100% skin identical, 100% you. 2019 TV run out on now at Harvey Norman. Once we sell out, they're gone. Rush in for clearance prices across the 2019 TV range. Great deals on all the great brands. LG, Samsung, Sony, Panasonic, Hisense, Toshiba and more. If it's a 2019 model, it's got to go. Hurry, grab a bargain while stocks last. All sizes from big to massive. All types from UHD to 8K. The 2019 TV run out on now at Harvey Norman. But be quick, once we sell out, they're gone. Gloss black grill, 19 inch black alloy wheels, panoramic sunroof, and more. New Sorrento Black Edition from 48990 Drive Away. When I'm traveling, I love having plenty of room. Did you know Accor has great apartment brands like Mantra, Peppers, and Art Series? Get the luxury of space in amazing locations all over Australia and New Zealand. Live limitless to the core. Raise your game for round one of the AFL with Richmond versus Carlton this Thursday night. Apply your allocated W winnings in your bet slip, and if your bet wins, we'll double your winnings in cash. Bet Easy, the official wagering partner of the AFL. Eggs. Crack them, whisk them, fry them, poach them, strain them, drain them, boil and oil them. Eggs. They're nutritious and delicious, so your family can. Kick it, catch it, swing and ride it, throw it, bowl it, jump it, jive it. Get cracking, Australia. Gian, why do you love LifeSpace Broad Spectrum Probiotic from Chemist Warehouse? LifeSpace Broad Spectrum Probiotic is Australia's number one selling probiotic. Its 15 multi-strain formulation helps encourage good bacterial diversity to support a healthy microbiome. It can also assist with immune system function and general health and well-being. At Chemist Warehouse, LifeSpace Broad Spectrum Probiotic is only $23.99. LifeSpace is my go-to probiotic brand for the whole family. Make it yours too. Live, look, feel well at Chemist Warehouse. I love to teach. I love all my little Einsteins. Discover the new garden collection at Pandora. The Bed Shed Sale Sale is in its final week. Don't miss out. All Sleepmaker mattresses reduced to half price and all bedroom furniture up to 40% off, but only till Sunday. Bed Shed, no one's better in the bedroom. Five Buck Pizzas are back at Domino's. Seven awesome recipes, all made with fresh dough, vine-ripened tomato sauce and stretchier, tastier mozzarella. $5 value range, all day, every day at Domino's.
Did you know LNP Mayor Schrinner gets an extra $100,000 straight into his bank account, no receipts needed? Imagine any other business operating like that. I'm voting to clean up rorts like this. Also, as Jay Campbell, Australian Labor Party, State of Queensland, Level 116, Peel Street, South Brisbane, 4101. Melbourne researchers at the Peter Doherty Institute have made an early breakthrough in the race to produce a COVID-19 vaccine. Scientists use samples from local patients to help their study. Estelle Greypink has more. Good afternoon. Well, this is an exciting breakthrough in the race to find a vaccine for coronavirus, with researchers here in Melbourne finding a little bit more about just how the body can actually fight off COVID-19. Researchers from the Doherty Institute have been mapping the way the body responds to COVID-19 and have found that healthy people can fight off mild to moderate cases in three days. They say this is very good news because it shows our immune systems are capable of fighting off the virus despite it being so new. It is exciting because our body is actually doing what we are hoping that a body would do in these kind of situations, basically fight back even if it's new. In research published today, the scientists revealed they've studied the blood of five of Melbourne's first coronavirus patients and found that each patient's body recruited antibodies to successfully defeat the infection. It's hoped further study into how these antibodies work could lead to new therapies or even a vaccine. I think we know much more than we knew two months ago and lots of um, research labs are working really hard and there is progress. Meanwhile, the first human trial of a potential coronavirus vaccine is set to begin in the US. A group of 45 healthy volunteers will have the jab at a research facility in Seattle over the next six weeks. But experts say that will take a number of months before it's known if that vaccine will work. Benjamin Netanyahu's reign is teetering with his rival Benny Gantz given the green light to form government in Israel. After three general elections in the space of a year, Netanyahu declared victory this month despite another deadlock. Adding to the confusion, the coronavirus outbreak has seen Netanyahu's corruption trial postponed while the new parliament was sworn in three at a time due to a limit on public gatherings. In the wake of a major health crisis, Venice's water has rarely been cleaner. With Italy in lockdown, canals have been virtually cleared of boats, leaving the water so transparent fish could be seen. A rare ray of light for Venetians as coronavirus cases continue to soar across the nation. And video calling robots are being rolled out in nursing homes across Belgium after the government banned visitors. I am excited that I will be quick to use an elderly care facilities to fight against loneliness in these times of corona. The butler-style robots named James can be programmed to self-navigate to a resident's room and connect a video call through Facebook Messenger. Hollywood actor Tom Hanks has been discharged from Gold Coast University Hospital after testing positive to COVID-19. Hanks and his wife Rita Wilson took to Instagram last week to share the news of their shock diagnosis. Their son Chet posted a message this afternoon thanking people for their support and calling for calm. The most important thing is that we just stay calm because panicking really isn't necessary and uh, it's just making things more difficult than they need to be. You know what I mean? If you went to the grocery store and hoarded all the water and the toilet paper for yourself. I think you're the problem. You know what I mean? You should just think more of others for once. Hanks was in Queensland working on a Baz Luhrmann Elvis biopic. Production has now been put on hold. It's time to farewell our Gold Coast viewers. You're off to the chase. Then Rod and Amanda have your local news at 5.30. For the rest of the state, many Queenslanders now forced to work from home. Can the NBN handle the load? The plan to protect voters from the spread of infection at next Saturday's elections and petrol at $1.06 a litre, where you can find the cheapest fuel. In testing times, trust is important. Seven News is committed to bringing you reliable coverage on the coronavirus crisis. The facts as they happen. The very latest developments. The very best advice. That's why 7 News is Queensland's number one. On air and online. I'm giving you a 10. A 10. A 10. <laughs> it's a first. A 10. <laughs>
The super dinner party you can't miss. When you cook with love and laughter, that's when you create magical food. Mmm, good? Food that just hits you right in the heart. Can they win my kitchen rules? We are so close. Tonight, 7.30 on 7. Loving that rose hip glow? Take that radiance to the next level and discover rose hip beauty glow from within with new Nature's Way Beauty Rose Hip Tablets. For the first time, our special premium rose hip extract comes together with collagen and antioxidants to help enhance skin firmness and elasticity, skin regeneration, and collagen formation. Radiate a healthy glow from within with Nature's Way Beauty Rose Hip at leading supermarkets and pharmacies. Raise your game for round one of the AFL with Richmond versus Carlton this Thursday night. Apply your allocated W winnings in your bet slip and if your bet wins, we'll double your winnings in cash. Bet Easy, the official wagering partner of the AFL. A rare few seem to know just what to say and the right moment to say it. Or when a gesture offers more than words. These are the people who become white ladies because that's who they're born to be. White Lady Funerals, a woman's understanding. Three wishes, Charlie. But Charlie, you can't eat chocolate. Oh, he knows. Tim Tam, what more could you wish for? Your everyday spending could take you places. Because with 130,000 bonus Qantas points on a new NAB Qantas Rewards signature card, you can take that holiday and not have anything to worry about. NAB. More than money. One in three Aussies live with high cholesterol. So make the change to Flora Proactive with plant sterols proven to lower cholesterol. Delicious Flora Proactive and an active healthy lifestyle can reduce your cholesterol in just 21 days. This is 7 News Queensland with Kendall Gilding. It's great to have your company. Our top stories this Tuesday. The federal government is considering extraordinary economic rescue plans in response to the coronavirus pandemic. More than 400 Australians are now infected with numbers steadily growing. The first elderly and disabled only shopping hour has been met with mixed reviews. Thousands turned out at supermarkets across Queensland this morning, but many still missed out on what they needed. And after a horror start to the week, the share market gave investors some unexpected optimism today. But experts say the market is fluctuating wildly. A teenager who was on probation has been charged with murder over the shooting death of 22-year-old Michael Zanko on a rural property at Amamore, south of Gympie, last Thursday. The 19-year-old local man has also been charged with attempted robbery. Police have appealed to the public not to approach two other men still on the run and considered dangerous. Both of these people may be armed, so we'd ask the members of the public uh, to act safely, not approach these men. Police are also looking for a Ford Falcon with the registration number 268ZOW. Lord Mayor Adrian Schrinner has announced plans to sterilise Brisbane's 1,200 council buses in the next few days. He says the spraying will be conducted at night when buses return to their depots and will hopefully kill any traces of the COVID-19 virus. It's all about making sure we take the precautions to reduce the risk to passengers, to let passengers know that it is safe on public transport. Meanwhile, the Labor Party says it'll make voting safer from germs at the council and state by-elections on March 28. Volunteers will hold boards displaying codes that can be scanned by mobile phones to study Labor preferences. It's all about uh, protecting people, protecting uh, voters and protecting our volunteers. He says traditional how-to-vote cards will also be handed out. There are concerns about whether the national broadband network will be able to cope as city offices empty out and more people are asked to work from home. As Jessica Ridley reports, telcos are expecting data usage to rise significantly. 
Good afternoon. They certainly are. Now, normally peak hour is around 9pm when everybody is home and on the couch. But all of that is about to shift as businesses implement strategies to try to reduce the risk of having to shut down entirely as coronavirus spreads. So a lot of their staff are being asked to work from home indefinitely, with city centres starting to resemble ghost towns near empty public transport, quiet cafes and shops, all of this contributing to a surge in data usage during the day. So all of the major telcos are working together now with NBN Co to try to service everyone adequately during this time. Italy has seen a 26% increase in peak hour network traffic. So far, the NBN's recorded a 6% rise during the day, but is preparing for that to jump to 40%. We think the network is well equipped to handle that, although, of course, we will be keeping an eye out for any localised bottlenecks and what can be done to improve the capacity there. There will be some customers where their service won't be working as it's supposed to. There will be some slowdowns for sure. There will be a little bit of congestion on the system. Telstra is also warning today there'll likely be longer wait times for support via phone or online messaging as they experience staffing issues with their Philippines-based tech support teams. To finance now and as we heard there was some relief for investors today after yesterday's big falls in share prices. Tom Petrovsky at Comsec has the details. It was some well deserved relief as well for investors having endured a harrowing day yesterday where the market suffered its worst sell off ever as far as the ASX 200 was concerned with a fall of almost 10%. Today the ASX 200 up by close to 6%. So a big recovery and we're now well off the lows that we saw on Friday but given the volatility of the last couple of weeks it wouldn't take much to be back there again. But what drove the market higher today was largely the improvements in the banks. So we saw some encouraging gains for the C CBA and ANZ groups, they were up by around 13%. But company specific news also had a big part to play in the fortunes of some stocks such as Select Harvest and Almond Grower, which had an encouraging update in relation to its recent harvest, and that stock was up by around 14%. The Aussie dollar is still in a holding pattern, it's trading at around 61.2 US cents. Despite holidaymakers cancelling their upcoming trips, one company will kick off an unusual campaign tonight. Click Frenzy Travel is launching its annual sale with a difference. The deals will now focus on places in need following the recent bushfire crisis and the COVID-19 outbreak. Drivers in Toowoomba queued for fuel today after a petrol station offered unleaded for just over a dollar a litre. Even diesel was going for just over a dollar ten and drivers were eager to make the most of it. I don't think I've ever seen it at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, nice to have a bit of relief at the, at the Bowser and cost of living's going up so it's good to, uh, good to see that uh, it's starting to come down. Unleaded was also spotted for $1.10 a litre at some Gold Coast servos. More big sporting events cancelled. Details next with Pat Welsh. Also, how local businesses are helping the elderly and vulnerable avoid the panic buying crush. And even Hollywood's not immune to coronavirus. Which big productions are now under threat? On 7 News, Queensland's half a billion dollar pandemic rescue plan. Airlines slash international flights. Crucial information for the elderly as seniors shopping begins. Schools moving to online learning. Plus the lessons for parents from the North Lakes Kmart kidnapping. K McGrath's special report. 7 News at 6. to pay for it it's all here live free and in HD Boy. You will be here. seven the home of footy Taubman's all weather will protect you from all the forces of nature lifetime guarantee with water and dirt resistance enhanced UV protection and guaranteed not to crack or blister available at Bunny's warehouse Yes, it's the first word of any new discovery. Telfast helps you say yes with fast, non-drowsy hay fever allergy relief. Turn a half-hearted yes into an all-in yes. Telfast. Live your life. Has your life been turned upside down by a road accident? 
Talk to Australia's number one law firm. Morris Blackburn Lawyers will maximise your claim so you can get on with your life again. Call us now. It costs nothing to know where you stand. For the greatest garden in the street, you'll need the Honda UMS 425, Australia's best-selling four-stroke line trimmer. Powerful, ergonomic and easy to use. The new Honda line trimmer. Greatness in your garden. Hmm. Aren't diamonds for, like, milestone occasions? Oh, why wait for one of those? Hmm. Hint, hint, babe. That's why we fell in love with the place. We all pick things with our heart, but when it comes to home insurance, it pays to pick with your head. With our award-winning home and contents insurance, you can save up to 30% online. Plus, as a Woolworths insurance customer, get 10% off your grocery shop once a month. So get a quote online and switch today. That's why we pick Woolies Home Insurance. With the goodness of Australian wheat, there's something for everyone. Arnott Salada, as versatile as you are. Here's a simple choice. Keep giving thousands of dollars to your power company year after year, or give your lifestyle a boost with that money. It's time to call Sunboost, Australia's largest solar company. If you're looking to reduce cost of living pressure, call Sunboost today. Australia's only solar company with over 1,500 five-star ratings on productreview.com.au. Install a bill-busting 6.6 kilowatt premium system for just $39.91 and start saving from day one. Stocks are limited. Call 1300 Sunboost. Did you know LNP Mayor Schrinner gets an extra $100,000 straight into his bank account, no receipts needed? Imagine any other business operating like that. I'm voting to clean up rorts like this. Also, as Jay Campbell, Australian Labor Party, State of Queensland. Level 116, Peel Street, South Brisbane, 4101. They're out to wipe the smile off the super nerd's face. Oh. New The Chase, weekdays at 5 on 7. Shoppers are rallying behind local farmers struggling through tough trading conditions. An organic food delivery service says business is booming with more people choosing to shop online. From this humble farm in Kingscliff, direct to your doorstep in under 48 hours, George and Elliot are changing the way people shop for organic food by taking it online. It's a farmer's market at your fingertips. The farm folk grew from a love of farming and fresh produce and has turned into a fully fledged business. To see that people are so passionate about eating good food and feeding their kids the best quality produce, it just it makes me so excited. The pair now spend their days packing orders and delivering to households across the southeast and northern New South Wales. We have a lot of customers here that are coming from Brisbane, Gold Coast, and just knew that there was a demand for home delivery. A one-stop shop for all your weekly essentials. Bread, eggs, milk, uh, produce and dairy. It's become hugely popular for the time poor. Most of the veggies are like odd shapes and not like the, the picked out ones for the supermarkets. And demand has soared as coronavirus has forced some farmers markets to close. It's a great opportunity to shop online and keep yourself safe and our community safe and still get access to really good quality produce. Without leaving your own home. Dion Savage, 7 News. And Paddy sport fans don't need to leave home either. You're right, Kendall. Yes, more on the virus shortly. Hello, everyone. But first, the Broncos will blood another rookie this week against the Bunnies. Nudging college graduate Ethan Bullimore to come off the bench against Wayne Bennett South in an empty Suncorp. The Broncos are down to bare bones in their forward pack with Alex Glenn still injured and Pango Jr. suspended again. A 19-year-old uh, middle forward um, from Springshaw originally in uh, the Central Highlands uh, will make his debut on Friday night. So... He, um, you know, he's had a, um, a really good last year and a bit. In Sydney, Manly players are taking the COVID-19 very seriously, even wearing face masks while training. The Lions are bracing for a $5 million hit just in lost gate takings when their shortened season starts this weekend in front of zero crowds. The club revealed the financial strain during a media briefing conducted via video conference. Working and training behind closed doors isn't the only measure to evade coronavirus exposure. There are plans to charter a Virgin flight to Melbourne for Sunday's Hawthorne clash. We'll have designated areas in the airport. I think they're even looking to get 
a bus onto the tarmac and get us straight off. Uh, we'll have a floor of a hotel just to ourselves. You'll see that match live and free on the screens of seven. New South Wales have been declared Sheffield Shield champions with Cricket Australia cancelling all competitions around the country. The last round of the Shield had already been called off. Now the final's been scrapped due to coronavirus, with the Blues sitting 12 points clear on top of the ladder. But the future of the game is also in doubt. Our hope is that we're back in very much normal circumstances come October, November, when the Men's T20 World Cup is to be played. CA also instructed club and amateur cricket to pull up stumps. The biggest fight in Australian boxing is off. The Jeff Horn Tim Zoo bout set for April 22 in Townsville has been postponed just 24 hours after tickets went on sale. For the first time in 59 years, there'll be no surfing contest at Bells Beach this Easter. The World Surfing League's on hold until the end of May, cancelling both Bells and the Margaret River Tour events. And just a short time ago, the NBL called off their grand final series with the Perth Wildcats leading the Sydney Kings 2-1. There is not much sport left. There is not, Patty. <laughs> we'll see you tonight at six. Mm -hmm. Some of Hollywood's biggest stars are now dishing out advice on how to tackle the pandemic. Celebrities are supporting social distancing and self-isolating as the entertainment industry grapples with the impact of COVID-19. To all you young millennial that keep going out and partying, go home. Stop killing old people, please. Stern words from one teen idol and another. Miley Cyrus has urged people not to hoard food and to practice restraint, while Arnold Schwarzenegger has taken to Twitter with this video, telling fans to stay at home as much as possible. No more restaurants, OK? No more restaurants. Forget all that. Public gatherings, restaurants and all those gymnasiums out the window. The celebrity advice is being dished out as more stars test positive to COVID-19. Bond girl Olga Kurilenko has revealed she has coronavirus, while actor Idris Elba has tested positive too. I got some test results back for coronavirus and it came back positive. I'm doing OK. The American Country Music Awards has fallen victim to the pandemic. The star-studded event was meant to be hosted by Keith Urban. Now the Aussie singer's performing live for fans from his warehouse. Vegas shows have also been infected, from Cirque du Soleil to David Copperfield. While New York City's glamour event, the Met Gala, has been postponed. Production on Amazon's new Lord of the Rings series has been suspended in New Zealand. Movie going is plummeting around the world with all cinemas closed in 32 markets including China, France, Spain and Italy. The number one movie at the US box office, Pixar's Onward, took 73% less in its second weekend, one of the biggest drops in the studio's history. And here in Australia it was meant to be one of the year's biggest music festivals. Bluesfest was touting a lineup of icons including Lenny Kravitz, Crowded House, Tori Kelly and Alanis Morissette. But the event marked for April has been cancelled, unable to go ahead with a national ban on gatherings of more than 500 people. Taylor Auerbach, 7 News. And also announced today, the Splendour in the Grass Festival has been pushed back to the 23rd, 24th and 25th of October. It was due to take place in late July. It's slowly warming up again. Tony Auden has the details next. Also, the odds were against them. Now, new hope for an endangered species. And why coronavirus can't stop these Queensland girl guides sharing a campfire. Don't pay a cent until you watch this. The hidden savings in every car rego bill. Where to find them? Tonight on 7 News. Good afternoon, Dave Andrews here in the Mount Gravatt Skoda traffic chopper. Well, some busy going on the gateway this afternoon, heading northbound up through Nudgee towards the Bruce Highway. A house on fire here on Lamosa Court through Mango Hill, not causing too much in the way of delays. They have frocked off all the local streets though and putting plenty of smoke through the Mango Hill area. At Mount Gravatt Skoda, all demos come with three years free scheduled servicing, limited stock. So be simply clever and visit mountgravattskoda.com.au. T's and C's apply. I'll check the roads again for you tomorrow. Hey, Mum, 
Guess what? George and I are going on a TV show. You might find nice two girls on the show. The renovation show, Mum. Not a dating show. Now, these two boys are all grown up and finally leaving home. This is my place. But do they have the skills to cut it on house rules? They wanted luxury and glamour. You got luxury and glamour. A couple of bachelors, and yet this seems very sophisticated. But could these boys grow up to become house rules champions? They are a team to watch. TV's most inspiring home reveals. Welcome to High Stakes, this April on 7. Everything you love about a Subaru meets the effortless efficiency of hybrid. Charge! Introducing the self-charging hybrid, the next generation of Subaru. Charge! Wish you had internet that didn't let you down? That doesn't leave you hanging? And won't have you missing any of the action? Get Vodafone NBN. With 4G backup, you can power through interruptions and unlimited data keeps the whole family going. Get Vodafone MBN from just $65 a month. The future is exciting. Ready? At Beacon, we help you live lighter with innovative products that are good for the environment and your wallet. Shop Australia's largest range of energy-saving lights, fans and globes and get 40% off your second item store-wide. You might see her miss out on the excursion, but you don't see her parents struggling to make ends meet. You might see her worn-out uniform, but you don't see her hiding because she doesn't fit in. You might see her losing confidence, but you don't know how hard she's trying. For children in poverty, every day can be overwhelming. Amy has almost nothing left to give. Do you? Please sponsor an Australian child today. Search the Smith family. When something goes wrong and you're injured on the road, you need the right advice. Contact Shine Lawyers to access compensation through your superannuation. Yeah, I've heard Shine can help. Shine Lawyers, let's right wrong. Feel the clarity of non-drowsy children's Claritine hay fever allergy relief. Australia's number one children's allergy brand. Because to a kid, a grassy hill is irresistible. Feel the clarity and live Claritine clear. Light and Easy has just been awarded Australia's number one healthy meal delivery service for customer satisfaction. Scoring five stars for taste, variety and freshness. All things you'll find on their new autumn menu. So order today. Look at the super nerd up there. Hello team. Hello. Smiling away, thinking he's got this in the bag. I love it. Well, guess what, nerdy? <laughs> They're out to wipe that smile yes. off your face. Oh. New The Chase, weekdays at 5 on 7. Good afternoon, you're watching 7 News. Checking the weather now and summer almost feels like a long distant memory now. Another cooler and windy day with a few passing showers in the mix. Onto the satellite, this strong high pressure system down at the very edge of your screen here is driving our weather, pushing that cooler air up along the coast, also pushing those uh, southeast winds as well. Elsewhere, fairly clear skies for much of the mainland and a cold front sweeping past southern WA. Tomorrow, that front will move away into the bite with little effect and in the east. While the high remains, but it weakens a bit and moves in closer, so the net effect is that these southeast winds will continue to ease back gradually. If you're headed interstate tomorrow, fairly uh, pleasant conditions for Sydney, mostly sunny there. Some early fog, then a sunny top of 27 degrees in the nation's capital and Adelaide's Horton heat remains up to 33 degrees there. Back to northern Queensland, Mackay's looking at an early shower, some late showers in Cairns, but still dry most of the time there and a sunny top of 35 degrees in Mount Isa. Heading south, we still have moderate flooding in far southwest Queensland catchments from the rain a couple of weeks ago. On the coast, a bit of a case of groundhog day. Still windy, a few showers, most likely around Harvey Bay, just a possible sprinkle and 27 degrees in Maryborough. Now across the southeast, the showers ease back even further and the winds will be a touch lighter, but still breezy, especially on the coast. Surfers, the swell holding in too with some great but crowded waves on the points. Brisbane, a top of 28 degrees and 16 overnight, up to 29 in Ipswich. Warming up towards the weekend. Kendall will have all the details coming up at six. We'll see you then. Thanks, Tony.
Well, in tonight's bulletin, Sharon, this coronavirus crisis is constantly evolving. Oh, it really is. Kendall, we'll have the latest developments, including the shocking impact on workers, plus essential advice for seniors as Queensland schools gear up for online learning. And just look at this video. The thieves breaking into a Brisbane restaurant to steal pasta and other food at supermarkets as they are all cleaned out. Also tonight, you'll have the second part in Kay McGrath's exclusive on the Kmart kidnapper. Yeah, Kendall, tonight the no-nonsense advice for parents from a mum who'd done everything right. In the news tonight, the warning signs to look out for and how to best protect your child from a predator. And Queensland on the cusp of joining the International Space Race. Yeah, Kendall, this successful test firing putting us in the league of giant American corporations and the US government. And guess what? It was designed and built by a bunch of local uni students. So what makes it so special? We'll reveal all tonight, plus all the top stories in seven years at six. Looking forward to that one. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Thanks, Kendall. Thanks, Sharon. Well, they were already endangered before the summer bushfires, but these turtle hatchlings are providing new hope for their species. The Manning River turtle eggs were collected from the wild to save them from foxes and trampling cattle. Ten have now hatched and are being monitored at the Australian Reptile Park in New South Wales. Some will stay as part of the park's breeding program, but the rest will be released into the wild. To social media now, where a Gympie Girl Guides leader is creating sparks, Leonara Cox came up with the idea of a Zoom video conferencing campfire to keep the girls apart while still bringing the community together. The response was explosive. Guides from around the world are getting on board, including the UK, Jamaica, New Zealand and the US. And meet Millie the Wombat. She provided some light relief on Facebook this morning, which we all need, when Symbio Wildlife Park live streamed her breakfast feast. The six-year-old chowed through a stack of sweet potato, much to the delight of thousands of viewers. And do you follow us online? Make sure you give our pages a like. We're on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Well, that's all we have time for this Tuesday. Stay with us now for The Chase, then 7 News at 6. I'm Kendall Gilding. I'll see you tomorrow. Barty playing in the green and gold. I want to be there when that happens. Sam Kerr scoring for the Matildas. Sam Kerr! What a start for the Aussies! I want to be there when that happens. Jess Fox chasing history. She charges to the line. I want to be there when that happens. Simone Biles doing something no one has ever done before. I want to be there when that happens. Boomers playing the dream team for gold. Fancy footwork in the finish. I'm going to be there when it happens. Matt Glaitzer beating cancer and beating the world for a medal. He gets redemption in the end. I want to be there when that happens. The women's rugby winning back-to-back -back gold medals. Scenes of utter joy. I want to be there when that happens. Five new sports. Surfing at the Olympics. Steph Gilmore is going to be there. Sally Fitzgibbons, are you kidding? Rock climbing. I want to be there when that happens. And my sport, BMX freestyle. I want you to be there. Hearing that sweet sound. And they break the world record. I want to be there when that happens. Tokyo is going to be incredible. Inspirational. Epic. The greatest event you'll ever see. You want to be there when that happens. Tokyo 2020. You can be there on 7. 7. 7. Home of the Olympics. These four strangers.